look up for the pimple right there. Hi guys, Stephanie here and welcome back to my channel. Before I start the video, you guys, I just want to give a YouTuber shout out to my good friend and YouTube sister, Nimi D Vlog. She has an awesome channel with everything from recipes to vlogs. Go show some love on her channel, you guys. You won't regret it. Today I have no makeup on because we are talking acne, pimples, blemishes, spots, and my personal favorite name for it, zits. We are going to talk about face mapping today. I woke up with a cluster of pimples on my chin area and I knew exactly why I had those pimples. I wanted to make a video about face mapping to show you that different parts of your face can tell you exactly why you're having a breakout. This is not true for all acne cases. Some cases are genetic, and in that case, I suggest seeking a specialist's opinion. If you want a facial or your pimples popped, then you'd come to me. I am a licensed esthetician and skincare professional, but I am not a doctor. Definitely not. So if your acne is being persistent and you feel like it isn't going away or that something more is going on with your skin, then I definitely suggest seeing a dermatologist and asking their recommendations on treating acne or whatever your skin condition is. That's my little disclaimer. Now I'm gonna get right into the video. Face mapping was one of my favorite things to learn in beauty school because I feel like, yes, we can always treat acne on the outside side of our skin but if you knew exactly what was causing it on the inside wouldn't you want to do something to fix that as well so that's why I love face mapping so much it was developed thousands of years ago you guys and it still applies today face mapping basically tells you what causes your acne on each section of your face I'm going to start with the forehead and work our way down if you are experiencing acne in the center of your forehead that could be correlated to stress there are so many ways to relieve stress meditation deep breathing writing down the things that you're stressed out about on a piece of paper and checking them off as you do them any kind of way that you could reduce stress doing things that make you happy pimples close to the hairline or near the ears can occur because of products we are using. Sometimes if we wash our face and we don't get to the very edges of our hairline or where our ears are, then you can experience breakouts there. We use hairspray in our hair, we use dry shampoo, we use moisturizers, and if we're not properly washing our makeup off or getting exactly to the edges, then we can have breakouts occur along the top of the forehead head as well so just being careful to wash your face really well from tip top to bottom can really help with breakouts when it's along the edges of the forehead the next thing we are going to face map is our t-zone our t-zone area here can accumulate a lot of excess sebum a lot of excess oil so when we are thinking in terms of breakouts on our noses and forehead, they're usually whiteheads or blackheads. And they are very deep rooted, pretty much just dirt and accumulation of makeup in your pores. Pores tend to be larger in the T-zone also, and that is a common cause for acne. Good ways to treat that are with pore strips or charcoal cleansing washes or soaps. If you're extremely oily in your T-zone, maybe an oil-free moisturizer would be something you'd want to look into. The T-zone is a very tricky place to treat and it's more so about just keeping on top of it and making sure that the products that you're using will work well with oily skin in that area. There's so many masks out there that can really draw oil from the pores and really help with getting rid of acne in that area. The next region of your face we are going to face map are our cheeks. The breakouts on our cheek area can be from a multitude of different things. It can either be environmental or it can be because of what we are eating. Food that is high in sugar can cause cheek breakouts. So if you have a breakout on your cheek, you know, think to during the week, think if you were eating a lot of junk food. Oftentimes when we eat chips or a lot of chocolate or things that are really, really sugary, high in sugar, high in salt, those products can make our cheeks break out. That is one internal way for figuring out why our cheeks are breaking out. The other reasons your cheeks may be breaking out are environmental. So holding your phone to your face. You need to wash your phone all the time to make sure that your phone isn't putting extra grease up on your cheeks because that will definitely cause your cheeks to break out. 
washing your pillowcases. You need to wash your pillowcases at least once a week, ladies. We wear makeup on our faces and even if we wash the makeup off our faces, still it gets on our pillows and every night if we sleep on our pillows, our faces can definitely break out because of the dirt on our pillows. Touching your hands to your face. How many people, me being one of them, when you're leaning on a table, tend to do this or this? The oil from our hands and dirt from our hands can cause our cheeks to break out as well. And the last reason could just be that you sleep with your makeup on or didn't wash your makeup off and washing your makeup off is so important, you guys. So those could be the external reasons as to why we're breaking out on our cheeks. But the internal reason could very well be your sugar intake and what you're eating. And if you notice that you're breaking out a lot on your cheeks, a good helpful way to get rid of that would be to start eating much healthier so that your sugar intake goes way down. Lastly, we're talking breakouts on our chin area. Okay, so breakouts on our chin area are actually related to our hormones. As I said, I broke out on my chin today, you guys, and it is hormonally related, and a few hours later, I happened to get my period. TMI, I know, sorry guys, but I wanted to tell you because it is totally normal to break out in your chin region during your period, ladies. That is such a normal thing. It could happen as early as 10 days before to 10 days after. It's all our hormones. It's totally normal and natural to get acne on our chin during that time of the month. And for guys, an excess of testosterone can cause acne in the chin region. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do in terms of our hormones. Mother Nature's gonna do its thing, but that's when we would use our topical acne creams and anything over the counter or prescribed by a doctor that is suggested to clear up any breakouts on our chin. The good thing about chin breakouts is that they usually don't last too long. It's usually just when your hormones are a little bit imbalanced and out of whack, and they usually go away much quicker than the acne on the rest of your face that needs to be treated internally and externally. I hope you guys found this video helpful and also really fun to learn about face mapping. I had acne all through middle school and I know how stressful it can be to have breakouts. So if you really feel like your acne is persisting or it's something that's causing you grief in your life, I suggest meeting with your local esthetician or dermatologist and really coming up with an awesome plan for your skin. There are so many options out there and so many different ways to treat acne nowadays and your healthcare professional can help you find the one that's right for you. I love you guys. Remember that even your imperfections make you beautiful. Take care of yourself, our world, and each other, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.